I'm Katie Chester. I'm a clinical scientist. A clinical scientist is here to support the, the safety and the accuracy of treatment delivery in radiotherapy, um, involved in all aspects such as modelling the radiation, how we're going to deliver it, how we're going to calculate it, and then the treatment delivery side as well, how we measure it and how we ensure the delivery is what we expect so that we get the really precise dose in the right place as we, as we want to treat our patients correctly. We're in the background liaising with all the different staff groups, developing new techniques and ensuring calibration chains are correct. Um, and as I say, everything's safe and accurate. So physics are involved a lot in the development of new procedures. So anything that's new that comes in physics gets involved, but also in the everyday practices, we check the machines are working and delivering radiation as we expect. We check that they're calibrated. Um, we check that the planning systems and the calculation algorithms are correct and we're generally here to problem solve if any problems come up or if any difficult, I, difficult treatments come up. We're quite often the department to go to to help liaise with other staff and problem solve um, and make sure we develop and deliver the most optimal treatment for each patient. So you need to start with a, a physics degree um, and then there's you go on to then do a, a medical physics um, MSc and there's further postgraduate training which leads to state registration as a clinical scientist. So it takes quite a few years of training um, with a scientific background and everything has that scientific principles applied to it. I love my job, every day is different, um, there's always different problems to solve. You work with a really big team of people um, from the planners, from the radiographers and it's all around delivering the best treatment so even on a bad day where you don't know what you're doing and you're having trouble you know that you're there to help the patients and deliver the best treatments for these people. The patients are always at the centre of what you do um, it might be you're looking at an individual patient CT scan, it might be you're looking at a bigger aspect of the planning system but all of it you're thinking of how that applies to the patients, how it will optimise their treatment and will it model a real patient correctly, can it deliver? So they're, they're at the heart of everything we do we joke that in physics we always measure bits of plastic and things, but they're all there to, to simulate real people um, and to make sure everything's fine for, for real patients. It's a really nice collaborative environment, so there's, it's a very open environment where you can discuss with colleagues from other hospitals, within your own hospitals, from different staff groups. So working for the NHS is a really lovely collaborative environment. There's always people out there willing to help you and willing to give you advice. So it's, work, it's like working for a ginormous nationwide team um, that are willing to help. You've obviously got your own local team, but there's always other departments that are trying to do the same thing as you, developing the same techniques. So it's a really nice environment to work in. It's nice to know that at the end of the day, you have made a patient's treatment as good as it can possibly be, as accurate as possibly be, and you've helped that patient on their road to recovery. Please visit the Northern Radiotherapy Network website if you have any questions or queries.